Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video you will learn how to edit in Movavi Video Editor Plus. I will try to be quick and precise so we get the most valuable information in a quick time. So let's start. First what you want to do is be here in left upper corner in plus and then click file import and add files. You want to find your footage that you want to cut, then go to media bin, take it and paste it on your timeline. Right now we have our video in our timeline. You can play it, you can play around it and now let's continue. When you click sounds, you got plenty of sounds that you can use for your track. All you have to do is take it, you can need to download it and just paste it on your timeline. See, really easy. Now you have music here that you can use for your video, simple video that you can, that's like footage and backgrounds that you can also use. It's really up to like space and paste it here. Really cool, right? So when we have it, let's start with cutting our video and then we will go to transitions, effects, adding text, etc. So when I'm going to click on it, you get many buttons here. These are really simple, under, redo, delete, split, rotate, crop, color adjustment, clip properties. This is going to be really important. Transition wizard, add marker. So uh, when I'm holding control and I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel, I'm zooming in and zooming out on, our, on my video. When I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click split, the video will split. When I'm going to split it on many, many ways. Right now I have three clips here. I can take the middle one and I can paste it really easy. Now, when I have it, what do you want to do now? Let's double click on my video and we will go to clip properties. You can increase volume here. You can increase speed or decrease speed. You can fade in, fade out the video or reverse it. Then if you apply effects on this video, you can get back to it. Now let's start with the filters, AKA effects. You have many effects here that you can play around with. So let's say that you get like favorite, you get broken lens, which is like really great uh, glitch effect. When I'm going to take it, I'll just paste it on my video. You can see, like an RPG to wake you, you can see really great glitch effect. I will delete it with just double clicking, going to applied effects and canceling the filter. Then you have many more here, noise. These are also like part of the disruption effect, adjustment, you can mirror the video, artistic, you can make the sketch effect video, which is also pretty cool. You can blur the video, same thing, take the blur, paste it on your video, double click on it applied effects you can increase the blur or decrease it and then just cancel it okay you have color filters flying objects i don't recommend using using this really light leaks mosaic retro and vignette so this is how you add this now let's go to transitions which is really cool and i love it like they have more of a video editor got perfect transitions First, what you want to do, I would just want to show you, is how we can add uh, more text tracks, more video audio tracks, etc. What you want to do is just right click on your timeline, add extra track, and you can add video track or add music track. It's really up to you. So when I'm going to add music track, I can see already two tracks here, which is pretty cool. So this is just a like funny feature. Now let's start with the transitions. Let's go with the feature. Uh, you have like blinds, fade to black, ripple smooth. I will just paste it here and you can see the transition. Let's see. Like a really cool transition. Just also double click on it. You can increase duration. You can freeze the frame. You can slow motion it. 
You can also apply to all transitions if you have more of them. Then you have like warp to waves. Also, let's paste it here. And let's see how it looks like. Really cool, right? So this is how you can do it. Then you have parallax here, which are also cool transitions. Let's see. Pretty cool artistic. You can really play around with this like crossfade. It's really the, the basic one. Blur in, blur out. Let's see how it looks like. Yep, pretty cool. And you have many or more of them. You kind of understand it, how you can delete it. Just click on it and press delete. And now how you can add text. So adding text is really simple. You have intro videos here if you like, but then you have like feature, you have titles here that you can use, or you can go to basic and you have normal here, artistic opening speech bubbles, my titles. But let's start, I don't know, with the clean title here and let's paste it on my beginning of my video. So I will just take it, paste it. And let's see how it looks like. And you can see here that we've got title here and some text here. So I will double click on it. And again, really easy editing. This is so smooth. I will write here Marcus Stone. I will make it larger. Like this. I will align it. Okay, this is pretty cool. Now, okay. Video editing. Cool. I like the Bebas uh, font. It's pretty good. You can do increase the duration, the animation speed. That's kind of it. You can change the font if you would like, outline it. It's really up to you. And let's see how it looks like. Okay. And then it just fades away. Like this is pretty cool. Then you have a basic here. And you have like all of them that you would like to use. You have also simple text here. If you'd like to animate it and make whatever with it, you have it here. Okay. And you can use. So let's delete it. Now, when you go here to stickers, you have many stickers here, but I'm not going to talk about it because you, I think you understand how it works. It's really simple. But then you have settings here, which is pretty cool. Let's say that I have the title text here and I would like to animate it. You have many color adjustment here, crop and rotate, animation, easy, pen and zoom, stabilization, highlight and conceal, chroma key, if you have green screen, slow motion, scene detection, equalizer, noise removal, audio effects and beat detection. Like these things I think are really simple. But let's talk about the animation and let's say that I want to slide the text here. What I'm going to do, I will just take it and I will paste it on my text here, like right now. You can see the chroma keys here, not the chroma keys, but the, the keyframes. And let's see how it looks like. See? Really simple. Welcome here. Okay. So let's see once again how it looks like. Welcome here. So that's pretty cool. And again, let's go to settings and you have many animations that you can use. I think I like this is so simple and so user friendly and the user experience is perfect. What you want to do when you want to just export it is just go here.
and save project as save it first that's what i like and then export it export video and then you have many options here the mp4 highest then you just start with it this is going to be long so i'm going to export it right now but this is how we can export the moa video edit plus and this was the beginner's guide thank you very much everybody for watching if you enjoyed this video you can support and subscribe i'll be really thankful for that thank you have a great day and see ya